Our second year as Bournemouth's manager is well underway, and I asked you guys for some transfer suggestions to help us bolster the squad for the upcoming season. And did you guys ever deliver? Oh my goodness almost 300 comments it's probably well over 300 comments and suggestions by now so i went through most of the comments and made a short list of players that may be able to help us out our job in this transfer window was to get a backup left back for vina because we don't have another left back and then some sort of creative wide midfielder wide playmaker wide attacker that can kind of help out in the front three our quality in the front starting three is just not 100 percent there to make that big push in the premier league and maybe in europe as well i think with the budget that we have we get some sort of budget left back to help out Vigna and then splash the cash on a wide attacking player and then possibly a midfielder if we have enough left. So although a player like Nathan Ake is a good shout, he can play center back, he can play left back, he's experienced, he's a former Bournemouth player, but he's 28 years old and he's still a little bit too expensive. He's gonna be probably upwards of 25 million and I just don't know if we can spend that much money and then have enough money left over to buy a really, really quality player for the front three. But Francisco Ortega from Getafe is not expensive and is affordable 9.5 million plus Semenyo it is an A deal he's 24 years old he's gonna be absolutely fantastic on the left hand side for us with Vina and he's 76 rated unbelievable signing it's actually a perfect signing and it gives us so much more wiggle room with the money that we have left over I'm sorry that I had to get rid of Antoine Semenyo but he just didn't get on with us he couldn't find his stride and had a hard time breaking into that starting 11 Francisco Ortega welcome to board Myth. We're gonna sim the whole match against Leeds so we can continue doing business in the transfer window. Can we get a result against Leeds at home? It's a 1-1 draw. I'll take it. Philip Billing scored in the 37th minute. Dembele tied it up in the 83rd minute. Another point. After Ortega joining the club, we still have 45 million left to spend before the transfer window closes in a couple of days. So let's get to spending. Now I asked you guys about Nicolo Zaniolo because we need a statement signing in the front three and he would be very, very good for that. But he's very, very expensive and we definitely cannot afford him. And then some of you also said that there's some bad blood between Nicolo Zaniolo and Bournemouth because he actually completely rejected Bournemouth at first. And that's the reason why Bournemouth brought in Hamid Traore instead. So Nicolo Zaniolo will not be joining Bournemouth. I'm going to remove him from the transfer list. I really like the idea of Christian Pulisic coming to Bournemouth to play in the Europa Conference League with us and I tried to get him. I really did try. I offered 35 million. I left just a little bit in the budget so we can possibly afford his wages and bring in some sort of squad rotation player as well and Everton just flat out said no they didn't even counter our club is in a very weird state right now where we're going to be playing in Europe but we don't have enough budget to afford players like Christian Pulisic and sadly we can't afford Hamid Troyori either I've offered 36 million and they want upwards of 51 with a sell-on clause of 10 percent we just I don't know what else to do. We just can't afford him. But there is someone that we can't afford. It is Adama Traore from relegated Crystal Palace. He joins us on a four-year deal. Only paid 12.1 million for Adama Traore. Is this a statement signing that we're serious about Europe? Thanks to all the board members, which is you guys for giving Adama Traore as a suggestion. He's only 27 years old. He's in his prime. He's very, very pacey. And he's going to fit in extremely well on that right-hand side. Now, I also found the Swedish striker in free agency, Nathan Ahmed, 18 years old left footed only one star weak foot two star skill moves high medium attacking and defensive work rate but look at those physical statistics acceleration is good sprint speed is crazy agility balance jumping is there stamina is okay strength wow the finishing is 70 to 80 already he's only 18 years old i think we might snatch this guy up nathan ahmed the swedish striker from free agency welcome to bournemouth i want to see this guy's rating what is his rating give me the rating it's an a deal well it's because it was a free deal <laughs> what's the rating what is the rating he's a 70 let's go yes 9k wages five-year deal he's worth 3.8 million an incredible free agent signing for us we've sold the 21 year old christian sadie to fc Michelin for 1.8 million 1.3 allocated to our budget i'm sorry there was just no room for him here now at this point of the video you're probably wondering man sar lied to us where's that marquee signing where's that statement signing that he promised us adama Traore is good but he's not even 80 rated listen if you like this next signing hit that subscribe button because this is a statement signing james ward proud 
Clubhouse joins Bournemouth from Southampton for almost 30 million. He goes right into our starting lineup. He's going to be unbelievable for us. Four year deal. This is the statement signing that we've been looking for. An unbelievable midfielder that knows how to pass, knows how to shoot, knows how to dribble, knows how to defend, knows how to do everything. James Ward Prowse, welcome to Bournemouth. The transfer window has closed. No other deals have been made on our part, and our current budget is at 154K. We spent everything that we had. And with the rest of the budget that we do have, which is 154K, Logan Baldwin is going to travel to Romania to find some players, and Nicholas. Anderson is going to travel to Serbia to find some players. After all the transfers and a draw against Leeds, we sit in 10th. One win, two draws, five goals for, three goals against, five points. And before we start our journey in Europe in the Conference League, let's go play Brighton away. We are starting our strongest side against Brighton. Adama Traore starts, James Ward-Prowse starts in the middle as well. Let's go get these three points. It is a live atmosphere here at the Amex Stadium as Bournemouth visits Brighton. A few new faces in the lineup. We have a very, very strong squad and I would be disappointed with anything but three points here. Undav. Undav has been a pain in our butt for an entire year. Let's try and contain him here. James Ward-Prowse comes in and instantly intercepts a ball, and he takes it forward here. He plays it out to Adama Traore. Traore to Solanke, and Solanke can't get a hold of it. It's cleared, but Billing is there. Billing, Oxford, Alvarez, everybody's playing well. Billing intercepts. And Traore is in. Traore takes a heavy touch. And it is saved. And Estupanan clears, but only clears as far as David Brooks. What can David Brooks do here? He'll go all the way out to Alvarez. James Ward Prowse with the shot from outside the box. It is blocked. Oh, it's a fresh start for us here. New look for Bournemouth. Here we go. We are dominating the play. J Brooks, Alvarez takes another heavy touch, and Estupanan is there again. Rikelme, back to Estupanan. He's going to play it all the way to Rikelme. That is very, very noticeable, but Brooks intercepts, and Brooks comes the other way. Brooks, James Ward Prowse, sees Solanke. Solanke sees Philip Billing. Billing with the touch. Billing with the goal. It is 1 0 away at Brighton Hove Albion as Bournemouth takes the lead. Philip Billing. It was James Ward Prowse to Solanke to Billing. Billing with a low shot. It beats the goalkeeper. 1 0 Bournemouth away. That's the way we like to start. Let's go. Solly March out wide. Vina is trying to get there, but Solly March gets by him. And Solly Marsh just runs out of bounds. That's a great sign for us. And it is halftime. It is 1-0 Bournemouth away. Second half is underway, and I want the same energy brought by us in the first half to continue in the second half as Rikelmi takes it out, but intercepts it by Adama Traore. And that's intercepted by Billing. But Brighton still has the ball. And it's Joe Willock with the shot, and Neto with the save, and Neto collects. First save of the game for Neto, and he does well. Neto did well. Can't say anything about that. Philip Billing. Reese Nelson is making the run, and what a pass by James Ward Prowse. What a pass. And it's in, and it's gonna be in by Solanke. Reese Nelson passes it to Solanke, and Solanke puts it in. It somehow trickles in. But everything was started with the pass by James Ward-Prowse. Everything was started by that pass. It was a long ball. Reese Nelson collected it well, passed it to Solanke. Solanke with a little dink, and Sanchez just couldn't hold on to it. It is 2-0 Bournemouth away at the Amex Stadium. Let's go. I am so excited for the future here at Bournemouth. I'm so excited for this season. With the signings that we made, we may be able to do some competing. Not only in Europe, but also in, in the Premier League. As James Ward-Prowse comes in, hot and heavy, ready. Lays it off to Billing. Billing with a finesse from the outside of the box, but it's blocked. And Brighton come the other way. Burkhart trying to take it out wide. Goes back. Caicedo. Burkhart again. He sees Undov making the run, but Undov is, slows down and passes it out wide to Solly March. March. Passes are covered. Vina does well. 
And it is a goal kick. We're gonna be making five changes here. Brooks, Nelson, Traore, and the gang are coming off. Barkley, Ben Barrett, and Diaz, Musa, and the rest are coming on. Ortega is also on, because I really wanted to try him out. He's super, super fast and pacey. Should be a great option for us as a left back. At least as a substitute. Undov. Caicedo. Solly March. Burkhart. Burkhardt does well, plays it to Solly March, and it is saved by Neto. A great opportunity for Brighton. 88th minute, the game is almost over. Can we hold a clean sheet here away against Brighton? Brighton, they're pressing on for a second goal. We intercept it, and Ben Barrett and Diaz heads the other way, and he's got lots of space. And he sees Dominic Solanke, and it's the same old story. It is Ben Barrett and Diaz to Dominic Solanke and Dominic Solanke makes it 3-0 and that is three points for Bournemouth away at Brighton. The stadium is empty as you can see, everybody is booing. Bournemouth is on top, 3-0. And that was the final kick of the game. Final score, we come to the Amex Stadium and we take full three points from Brighton, 3-0 Bournemouth away. As you can see on the screen, the menu has changed. It is time for Bournemouth to make their debut in Europe. Turkish side Başak Şehir is traveling to Dean Court as Bournemouth hosts match day one of the UEFA Europa Conference League group stage. We are again going to start our strongest side in our debut in Europe against Başak Şehir. Solanke, James Ward-Prowse, Adama Traore starts Nelson, Billing, and all the other familiar faces. And also another super cool thing that I noticed is that in the Europa Conference League animation, it actually says that we're playing at Dean Court instead of vitality stadium ea sports messed something up there it's raining but people are excited people are excited to see bournemouth in europe and we're excited to play in europe gerard riedewald oschan he plays it out wide to monir and oxford has it now we don't want to get any cold feet here because we've never played in europe before so i'm a little bit nervous as Vigna makes the run down the wide hand side. Vigna. Can he put in a cross? He can. He's going to put in a cross. And it's a Traore! And Traore puts it high and wide and it's not on target. But that's okay. First chance goes to Bournemouth. Solanke intercepts. Passes it to Traore. And it's Brooks! 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 David Brooks! It is David Brooks that scores our first goal in Europe! David Brooks at home against Bashaksha here. It's a brutal giveaway by Bashaksha here in her own end, and David Brooks makes no mistake. Absolutely none. Takes it on his left foot and just slips it in past the goalkeeper. It is 1 0 Bournemouth against Bashaksha here. I am lost for words. We're super, super happy about this. Let's go, Bournemouth. Bashaksha here takes the throw in. Mohamed El Nenny. We love El Nenny, but not today. Not today, Mohamed, sorry. We don't love you today. Munir, Okaka, oh, they're making a, a run here and it's saved by Neto. Billing to Brooks, and Brooks has some space. Brooks again slows it down. Where he can he play it? To Billing, Billing with the finesse, and it's just wide, and he knows, he knows he should have hit the target. He knows it. It was a nice strike, but it's just wide. Still 1-0 Bournemouth. It is halftime, and what a debut for us in Europe. David Brooks had the attempt. David Brooks has the goal. It is 1-0 Bournemouth, 45 minutes in. Munir. Riedewald. Riedewald is going long, but Reese Oxford is there to intercept and puts it out of bounds. Lima is going to take this throw in here. Oschan controls it nicely. Munir. Munir puts it in, and Okaka is there, but can we get the ball back? We can't get the ball off Okaka, but Neto with an easy, easy save. All right, let's, let's calm things down a little bit. You can see that Bashak here is starting to press a little bit because they want the equalizer. James Ward-Prowse plays it all the way out wide to Alvarez. We're going to go back inside to Billing. Brooks, James Ward-Prowse. James Ward-Prowse with a long shot! James Ward-Prowse with a stunner! Are you serious? James Ward Browse! No way, Jose! Oh my! I'm bouncing up and down off my chair. How far was that? That was out wide. 25 meters out. And the goalkeeper's got no chance. 
No chance. And this is why we brought in James Ward Prowse. 30 million we paid for him. Worth every penny. It is 2 0 Bournemouth at home against Bashak Shahir in our European debut. 69th minute, we are making five changes Baturina, Ben Beretton, Tavernier, Musa, Okaka. Okaka to Oschan. Oh, it's blocked. Can we get the ball out? We can't. Neto makes the save. Can we keep the ball in here? We can, but we give it back to Oschan. And it's Okaka with the shot. And Neto again makes the save. Okay. I mean, uh, they've had some decent chances here as well. Turuc, who just came onto the pitch. It's a give and go with Turuc. Oschan to Turuc. Turuc making the run. Back to Lima. Bishak here has had a lot of possession. They really have. Alvarez does so well. Lima. Mohamed El Nenny. Oh, Oxford does well. Oxford does well again, but Bishak here keeps possession out wide to Turuc. Turuc dingles and dangles. Puts in a cross. Alvarez does well. We are a few minutes away from a famous victory here at Dean Court. And there it is. There it is. A famous victory for Bournemouth. First match in Europe. First win in Europe. And look how happy we are about it. The crowd is going absolutely wild here. Everybody's high-fiving each other. Oh my. It's a, it's a great moment. It really is a great moment in Bournemouth history. James Ward prowls with an absolute screamer. Screamer, 25 meters out. And we are walking off the pitch with three points in our back pocket. So after the away win against Brighton and our incredible European debut against Bashak Shahir in the Premier League, we're currently sitting in sixth after four games. Two wins, two draws, eight goals for, three goals against on eight points. Now in the next episode, we're going to finish off the month of September and dive right into October. We're going to have a home match against Forest, a home cup game against Newcastle, an away game against Wolves, away at Odense, home to Arsenal, away to Fulham, and away at Malmo. It's a very, very busy schedule followed by a match against Spurs and a match against Liverpool. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll be able to get through the rest of September and all of October. It's probably going to be a very, very long one, guys. Let me know down in the comments how you rate our new signings out of 10 this season. Do you like James Ward-Prowse? Do you like Adama Traore? Do you like Ortega? What about Nathan Ahmed that we signed as a free agent? If you enjoy the videos, please hit the like button for me. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button what are you waiting for and hit that little noti bell as well and i'll see you guys in the next episode it's gonna be a busy one all right let's go